Ever feel like you're only using CSS variables for colors? Let me show you how to use them for something truly advanced. We're going to build a fully interactive 360 degree product viewer. And the best part? We'll do it with almost no JavaScript. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're passionate about smart CSS tricks that can bring your websites to life, you're in the right place. Before we dive in, if you find this useful, please hit that like button and subscribe for more content that turns complex ideas into simple solutions. Let's get started. Here's the core idea. We need to create a grid of invisible trigger zones over our image. When your mouse moves over each zone, it tells a different image to appear. Your brain blends these images together into a smooth animation. So how do we build those trigger zones? This is where CSS variables become the star. First, in our HTML, we create a series of simple span elements. On each one, we use an inline style to pass it a unique number. Think of it like giving each span its own name tag with a number on it, 0, 1, 2, and so on. Now the magic happens in the CSS. We tell each span to use its unique number in a calculation. The calculation figures out its exact horizontal position. The first span with number zero goes all the way to the left. The next span with number one goes one slice over. This continues until we have 16 invisible vertical slices covering the entire image. Next, we set up all our product images. They're all stacked on top of each other, but hidden from view. Now for the interactive part. We write a single powerful line of CSS. This line says, when you hover over any one of these invisible span slices, find the image that's paired with it and make that image visible. Let's see it in action. As I slowly move my mouse across the product, my cursor is moving over each individual slice. Each slice triggers its specific image to appear for a split second. My movement controls the animation. Faster movement makes it spin faster. Slower movement lets me inspect details. This is the power of using CSS variables for logic, not just for style. We use them to pass data from our HTML into our CSS. That data drove a mathematical calculation for precise positioning. And it all came together to create a complex, performant interaction. Think of the possibilities. You could use this technique for interactive timelines, custom slider controls, or even simple games. Anytime you need to connect user position to an on-screen effect, remember this technique. It's a perfect example of letting CSS do the heavy lifting. The result is incredibly smooth because it's handled by the browser's native engine, not a JavaScript script. So next time you reach for a JavaScript library to build an interaction, pause for a second. Ask yourself, could I solve this with smart CSS variables and a clever selector? Often the answer is yes and the performance benefits are huge. This approach leads to cleaner code, smoother animations, and a much more maintainable project. That's how you use CSS variables for complex tasks. It's all about thinking of them as more than just style switches. If this tutorial helped you understand the advanced power of CSS variables, please show your support by liking this video and subscribing to our channel. Your engagement helps us create more content that helps you build better websites faster. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.